Buying property below market value. It sounds great. People will tell you you can do it. But is it actually possible, especially in a hot market like today? Well, in this video, we'll reveal all. So let's start with a quick definition of what below market value actually means. In its simplest form, it's buying at a discount. And that's why property is so appealing. I mean, there's loads of reasons why property is appealing. Leverage and the way it plays against inflation and so on. There are a long list of reasons why people like property. But one of them is your ability to potentially do a deal. That means that you've bought at a rate that is below the market rate. And I think it is worth saying that you can overpay in property as well. So there is the risk there as well and in a booming market people who are very excitable sometimes do overpay to secure a property because they get too emotional now i've mentioned the word discount but it's got to be a genuine discount you can have an asking price and get some money knocked off it but it doesn't mean you've bought a property that's below market value so you have to be sure in property that the discount you are getting is a discount from the market value and it's not a discount from the asking price. Sometimes the asking price is the market value, but sometimes the asking price is inflated. So you have to do your research to make sure that the price you are getting a discount from is actually the current market value. What are a few ways you can do to establish whether the price you're buying at is truly below market value? Well, the best way to do it is to do exactly what a valuer will do. If you instruct a valuation or if a mortgage lender instructs a valuation, what they will do is they'll send someone out to look at the property and assess its condition and then try to establish its value relative to other properties that have sold recently. And you can do exactly the same thing. You can go onto the land registry or you can go onto the sold house prices section of right move which is drawing from the same data but i find it presented in a bit more of a friendly way you can do a search for that postcode look within a quarter of a mile and you can see what properties have sold for in the past what you're then looking for is properties that are as similar as possible to the one that you're looking at because of course houses that are bigger that are in better condition that are in slightly better locations even if it's within a tight area are always going to sell at higher prices so what you're looking for is comparables and you also need to be careful because there's a lag before information appears on the land registry it's normally multiple months so because the property market is changing all the time it's possible that prices have gone up or down in the period since transactions appeared on the land registry. So it's never going to be an exact exercise. In some areas, it's harder than others because the comparables just aren't there. But that's the process that you should be trying to go through. What you should not be doing is saying, oh, well, the asking price is this and I've managed to get £5,000 off it. Therefore, it's BMV. No, the asking price is not the market value. Okay, so we understand what BMV is and we understand what BMV isn't. And now you understand what it is, you also understand why it's so hard to achieve. Why would somebody allow you to buy a property below market value? The market is booming right now. BMV is hard to do in a normal market. In a booming market, is it possible? Well, the answer is yes, but you're gonna have to do more than normal. And we're gonna talk about that now. What can you do? Where can you look for below market value opportunities? The first tip is speed. Make sure you're quick when the opportunity arises. But where can the opportunities arise? Well, it's thinking differently to everybody else and going against the crowd because normally that's where the opportunities lie in property and in life in general. So where is not hot right now? When other people switch off, it's time to switch on. BMV opportunities always come about because somebody needs to sell. You're never going to give a property away for less than it's worth by choice. So it's always a forced sale situation. Another way is by dealing with a developer. If a developer is completed in the last 12 months and still hasn't sold all their units, well, chances are they've probably got finance against those units and all their cash is wrapped up in those units. So they're desperate to get out. Now, they're not going to give them away, but you may be able to get them for less than what other people have paid in the same block. But if you're going to do a deal, we've already talked about speed. You've got to be a bit more on it than just, you know, alert. There's things you can do, Rob, and there's things you should be doing if you are keen to bag a deal. Definitely. The first thing you need to do is actually be active in your target area and know what is on the market and coming to market in that area. You should have right move alert set up for the areas that you're interested in buying in. And you should also be regularly going to check on how quickly things are moving. You should also be nurturing your network at this point. So if you don't have that network in place now, 
start building it quickly for next time. So the first step, Rob, is actually knowing what's going on in your local market. The second is being in a position to move quickly and prove that you can move quickly. Yeah, make sure your finances are in order. So if you're buying with a mortgage, then have a decision in principle ready. and Understand what lending options you have available. Obviously, engage with a mortgage broker. Even better, though, making yourself a cash buyer. Now, if you don't have the cash available, then you might be able to refinance, take equity out another property and sit on it. And then effectively you become a cash buyer. And then if you want to, you can refinance that property after six months and get your cash back out. But in the beginning, you've been a cash buyer. That's going to make you very, very attractive. But to really be on it, you're going to need your legal setup and ready to go. Now, if you've worked with a solicitor that you know is efficient, then work with them again. That's nice and easy. If you've not worked with a solicitor before that's not been really quick and effective, then you need to change your solicitor and find one that is. So having yourself organized and finances are really important. Another way you can become more financially attractive is if you can do a bulk deal. Now, if you're on your own, then you may be able to do a deal. But if you can go in a group, Rob, you can possibly do even better. Definitely. If you're in a situation where the developer wants to move the last three or four units, going in and saying, well, we will get you completely off site. We will take those last three and four off your hands. It's so much more attractive than just going in and buying one. And remember, don't be greedy. Just because you fancy yourself as a hot negotiator and you have to do a deal, don't get carried away. Don't anchor to a number that you must, must get. Doing at market value deals in this market is much better than doing no deals at all. Now, of course, if you can get a discount, why wouldn't you? And remember, don't now anchor yourself to past deals you've done. Below market value of any level right now, true below market value of any level right now, is just a no-brainer. So if you can get yourself a deal of any level in this market, jump on it, jump on it fast, and do not mess around. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, there are two quick things for you to do. First, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, and then go check out the Property Podcast wherever you listen.